Philly Fingers here, going over position play and cue ball control. And we'll do that by playing a rack of 10 ball. When breaking, I'm hoping to pocket the head ball in the corner or the second row balls into the side pockets. As you can see, I managed to get the head ball into the corner pocket. Now we can discuss position play and cue ball control. So first I'm going to look at where do I need to be for the three. Then I want to focus on how am I going to get there? What pass should the cue ball take? And lastly, what type of speed required in order to reach that target area? For me, you'll see that cue ball speed is going to be my biggest issue. Trying to get comfortable with this table and how fast I should hit the cue ball. As I draw back on the two ball, you can clearly see that I came up well short of my target area. So now the plan changes. When I look at the four now, I choose a new target area and decide how will I get there. Once again, you can see I've come up short of my target area. And again, the plan changes. The key now is trying to hone in on the proper speed. How hard should I hit this ball? And as I try to get on the five, you can see I hit this way too hard. And once again, I've missed my target area. This now makes me have to change my whole pattern and choose a new target area. So once again, I've come up short. So you can see I'm following the target line, but it's the speed control. My speed is not there. So as I move on to the six, same exercise. I choose a target area and I try to focus on that speed control. Now my speed is a lot better, and as I look to my next target and my next path, I try to replicate that. Unfortunately, on the 8-ball, I come up well short of my target area. So this shows you how hard it is to really get that speed control down. It takes a while. I now choose another target area for the 9, and I have to focus on the speed. In this rack for me, the speed control has been the hardest thing but I get a little bit better here on the nine. Now for the 10 ball, the target area is very similar. It's really more about the speed. Can I control the cue ball and get back to that area? The speed is still an issue for me as I missed my target area once again, but still in line with the 10, and I do want to focus on one final target area. As I pocket the 10 to complete the break and run, and I land in my final target area, you can see that cue ball control and cue ball speed, there's still a lot of room for improvement. And that's why we need to practice. That's my take. Till next time.